So guys, I got something really cool sent to me from one of the Brosners. Billy Weigel sent me a link that shows that they have started to engage dogs to screen for COVID-19 with the Miami Heat, which I thought was pretty cool. How, yeah. how the fuck is a dog going to tell if you have COVID or not? I, like, well, this is so, well, I mean, they use dogs yeah. at airports to sniff out drugs, right? And right. it's because they have these Bombs. incredible olfactory scents. And from what I understand, uh, you know, they, they trained a bunch of these dogs. They gave them a, a thousand samples or something, and they had some ridiculous success rate for how many samples they could find that had COVID in them. It was like 90-something Sam- percent. Samples of, of the saliva, right? Of, of people's saliva, saliva, yeah, with okay. COVID versus without. And so they just, you know, they just they trained the dogs to sniff for the COVID virus in people's saliva. Then they had them just go and smell thousands of them, and they got some ridiculous success rate, like high 90s success rate for screening for COVID, which, you know, like I flew during COVID. I went up to Alaska. Um, I think that's the only place. But, yeah, I flew a little bit during COVID. It's a nightmare. Like you stand in line for two hours, you get a COVID swab up your nose, you know, then you go downstairs, you check in. If I could have had one of the little drug doggies walk by me and be like, you're good, that would have been a million times better. And I'm pretty sure more effective if it's in the 90th percentile versus, you know, whatever our tests uh, rank yeah, in. I at. mean, that's a crazy percentile. I mean, they, they're using it at the airport in Helsinki, Finland, they're using the dogs to detect COVID 19. Uh, in Chile, they're using uh, dogs. So, I mean, think about that, that they can tell the minute difference in what your saliva smells like. Right. Yeah, man. They know before they, you they, do. Wow. They're going to know before they, you they've do. Been, oh, yeah. They, they've been uh, sniffing all kinds of crazy shit out, man. You got to – I was reading an article. They sniff out cancer. They can sniff out different mm-hmm. types of cancer. It, anything that has a distinct – like its own distinct smell – they can be trained to smell it. Like as long as it's different enough from whatever right. else is there. I mean, th- th- what is it? How, how much uh, stronger are there? Is there olfactory? Like a oh. hundred thousand times? Well, no. Humans have like six million olfactory receptors. Dogs have around mm-hmm. 300 million, right? So six mil- million versus 300 million. And, and it's funny because I, I think about this quite a lot. Um, wow. God, I'm just going to, I'm just going to lay it all out here. So, <laughs> my dog sleeps with me every night, right? He's, he's sitting, sitting on the floor right now. He sleeps in my bed every single night. And about halfway through the night, every night, he usually crawls in under the covers and gets in under the covers. Now, keep in mind, you know, they have 300 million olfactory senses. So I already know it, it's not, like, great to get under the covers with me, period. You know what I mean? It's just like if you're a dog, it's like, sure, I shower before I go to bed every night, whatever. Like, I'm not a filthy guy. I'm just saying it kind of smell good in there overall. Then do you, have you been Dutch? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Can you not ruin my story? Thank you. No, I'm then, sorry. I, I, you know, I, my dog crawls under the covers in the middle of the night. I usually let him in. Then, you know, I wake up like every normal guy early in the morning. And every now and then I just have to, you know, just let's let out a little little night fart. And I just think my yeah. dog who's <laughs> curled up in the in the crook of my knee with his 300 million olfactory receptors gets Dutch oven down there. It's got to be just like, it, it's got to be terrible. So, it's got to be the so most I awful thing it, ever for him. So you're th- constantly sniffing ass and piles of dog crap that are out on the, on the sidewalk. They love it. They sniff everything. And by but, the but way, they're, they're, people, they're reading people. information from that. My dog doesn't want to be woken up by yeah. getting crop dusted. That's that's <laughs> no. brutal. Reading information. Get no, they are. Dog, that's what they're doing. When your dog smells another dog's butt, exactly. They're they're trying I, to get an imprint of who this dog is. They don't they don't want to sniff your fucking morning. Horn. What are they doing when they're smelling a pile of dog <laughs> crap in the grass? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just so people. I was so excited to say morning horn, and then I liked it. it. I liked it. He just talked <laughs> over it. I thought it was very funny. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, it popped but into my head, are, and I was like, I'm at any cost. I'm going to say morning horn here. <laughs> If morning, now you've said it three times. Morning, I wanted to catch on. They <laughs> need a morning horn shirt or a hat. Um, no, but honestly, you ever if you ever, I know for, that you've done this too for us. You're just you you get real intimate and you give your dog a nice big kiss on the fucking mouth, don't you? All the time. On the nose. All the yeah, time. You do. I'll do it. It's like, dude, Boomer, they, it's oh, so, yeah. their their noses are in everything. Like oh, dog guy, piss on the fucking, guy, no, on, the, no, on the fire no, hydrant. No, oh yeah. my God, dude. Yeah. That thing has fucking been in your asshole while you sleep. I hope you like it. Whatever. 
But if you like, you if you like this kind that. of terrible content, if you like Dutch <laughs> ovening pups and uh, going on COVID screens at airports with the Miami Heat, give us a like and subscribe, and uh, remember to kiss your pooch on the mouth. Morning horn. And say morning horn instead of fart next time.